Hello, I'm Andrew Gordon, attorney and CPA. I've been practicing in cryptocurrency tax law since 2014. Today, it is hard to miss the news about ChatGPT. Whether it is crafting an email or writing a bedtime story, the AI's capabilities are constantly improving. In my opinion, AI is going to help us improve the day-to-day -day practice of accounting. It will minimize a lot of the tedious tasks while helping us identify issues and problems and ways to solve it for our clients. But today, my focus is going to be testing whether or not ChatGPT can do crypto taxes. When GPT-4 was announced, there was a demonstration of a fairly simple tax scenario, and GPT handled it pretty well. But as anyone in the Web3 or accounting world knows, it's much more difficult to do crypto taxes. Let's jump right into it. But make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment if you want to see more ChatGPT videos. I asked ChatGPT a fairly simple yet common question. If I donated crypto to a charity, is it considered a taxable sale? ChatGPT did a pretty good job of answering this. After it got its usual disclaimers out of the way that you need to consult a tax professional, it dove right into the US tax law. And in fact, it correctly answered that when you donate crypto to a qualified charity, it generally is not considered a taxable event. It's not considered a taxable spend. And it then even took it further and said that in some situations, you may even be able to get a tax deduction for the fair market value. I asked ChatGPT what the implications would have been if I was holding three Bitcoin at the time of the Bitcoin Cash hard fork and what the price of that Bitcoin Cash would be. ChatGPT answered this question well. It correctly identified the date of the Bitcoin Cash hard fork and correctly stated that one Bitcoin Cash was paid for every Bitcoin that a holder held. However, it was not able to identify the price, and rightfully so. It astutely identified that the price varied from $200 to $1,000 on the day of the hard fork, and so to know the exact price of your Bitcoin Cash would depend on several factors. ChatGPT makes it pretty well known that it has a knowledge cutoff date in 2021. And so I asked ChatGPT how Bitcoin ordinals would be taxed. And if you've never heard of Bitcoin ordinals before, that's okay. It's a pretty new technology that came out in 2023 and allows NFTs on the Bitcoin blockchain. When I asked ChatGPT how Bitcoin ordinals were taxed, it didn't know what Bitcoin ordinals were. And it then provided some general tax rules on how crypto was taxed. So it was correct in the general tax rules, but because ordinals were such a new thing, it had no idea what I was talking about. So it's very common in cryptocurrency for people to buy crypto over time. Perhaps they're buying a fraction of a Bitcoin every few months, and then later on in another year, or maybe a few months later on, they sell it. And that's where the tax computation can become quite complex, because when you sell it, you don't know which portion you're selling that you acquired on what date and how much you're selling it for. And so I gave ChatGPT a scenario where during 2020, a number of Bitcoin was bought over time. Fractions of Bitcoin were bought during different months. And then in 2021, I told ChatGPT that Bitcoin was sold and certain amounts were sold on given dates. And then the remainder was sold in 2023. ChatGPT did astoundingly well in generating a Form 8949 which is the form necessary to report capital gains and losses on your tax return. ChatGPT identified the different parts that were required for this form. The date that the crypto was acquired, the date it was sold, a description, the cost basis, and the sales price. But ChatGPT did have limits. Because there was an information cutoff, it was not able to get the Bitcoin price on all these dates. And so it generated an overall template that you can use to file these forms but it didn't have the exact numbers because it didn't have the prices at all these dates. ChatGPT also gave all the answers in texts and bullets. The form itself is different. And in order to file with the IRS, you have to file the actual IRS form, not just ChatGPT text. As you can see, ChatGPT is not going to be replacing accountants anytime soon. While it did correctly answer quite a few questions, you still do need the watchful eye of a human to review these answers, make sure they're correct, 
and also provide other data and inputs as necessary. And if all of this sounds like too much to deal with, you best leave crypto tax to the pros like those of us at the Gordon Law Group. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. While ChatGPT might not be proficient at crypto tax just yet, it can make a great video script.